we live in a time, man, where it's funny, like, growing up, like, for me, right, growing up, I got to watch these, these gangster rap artists, you know, basically not care about anything, like, be the toughest, roughest, you know what I'm saying, like, not care about nothing, um, now we live in a time where, like, you know, it's, it's people speaking out against the system, um, you know, with bigger platforms than they ever had before. And, um, well, I don't want to say that, but just like in the modern sense, like people who got a voice that bucks against the system. We've had brothers that bucked against the system. They get demonized by society and then their death gets justified one way or the other. Um, so it's weird to me seeing this, these conversations around yay, you know what I'm saying? All these conversations around this dude um, for many reasons, like, but what, what the aspect of what the aspect of the conversation being had around him is that I want to address is like a lot of stuff he says is bucking against the system. I ain't saying I agree or disagree. What I'm saying is some of y'all is fake outraged because y'all are in fear of your finances. Y'all are in fear of your of ex, of lack of acceptance. Yeah, people rejecting you. Um and that's how that's how most of this society going to move cuz we live in the matrix, of course. And what I think is weird, though, is like, you know, me being becoming a believer back in 08. Um, it was obvious to me that, you know, gangster rap, gangster rap culture was trash. It wasn't no good. Like and all the messages in it was all trash. Right. So I'm not. yay. I don't got to try to sugarcoat these relationships to be cool with these rappers. Like I'm not. I don't, it's, and then I also don't need to attack them either. But the reality is the message being pushed is trash. You the, you become the equivalent to Judas Iscariot. You become the equivalent to um, a Sambo when you perpetuate these messages, um, the men and the women in, in rap culture, right? And it's a foreign culture because it's not, it's not the culture um, of the of the quote unquote black community from the civil rights era. And prior to that, you know, the family was more together. A lot of times the black community, um, end up being harmed by, by striving for equality with white culture, with colonial culture. The problem with that is if colonial culture is wicked, we don't need to be equal with that. Um, also when you got a people group that that despise your existence to that level um, and you want to integrate to that level that we integrated, they're going to control the systems and you're going to get the outcomes that you have now. So there will be no black Wall Street. This is going to be the exact opposite. Um, and they've accomplished that, right? And um, everybody know my beliefs. I know I'm an Israelite. I know, you know, who I descend from. I know who the Israelites are. I don't have to make no statements about nobody else and I don't need yay to, to speak for me on that front, right? <clears throat> but it's funny to me that nobody else has done the paper trial. Like, like when he he making some, he making some legitimate statements in the midst of what y'all are calling hate speech. So, if we can, I, if we can say, uh, you know, what he said was hate speech, then we can for sure say that gangster rap and and whore rap, all this rap music that's that's out today. We can definitely call that what it is. That's all hate speech as well. But we don't seem to be outraged about that. We also haven't done the paper trail to see who's who's funding these artists and who's funding this message. And that's where, uh, yay, you know, hit a home run. Who's funding the message? The same people who funded, uh, who who insured the 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 boats. And the ships in the slave trade, the people who had equity in the slave trade, you know what I'm saying? The people who have equity in democratic cities. And I'm not even a, um, 
I'm not into politics. I don't think either party benefits the quote unquote black community. This Babylon to me, this Egypt to me, like it don't there's no there's no good here for us. Um But yeah. I mean, everybody gonna have a voice. Everybody can be outraged. You know what I'm saying? You don't really have to listen to my opinion. But it it became obvious to me a long time ago who was funding these this hate speech towards the children of Israel, or as y'all would like to say it, in Babylon, black people. You know what I mean? Um, we ain't outraged by that. Simply put, rather than say it's wrong, you know what I'm saying, to for this type of language, for us to be glorifying our women being whores and and, and killing our and killing their unborn children and glorifying the men, um, talking about killing one another um, and destroying their own destroying our own communities, right? Um, we'll take we'll take that stuff. And, and, and try to justify it as if every quote unquote black person is for that culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, who's given a platform to those of us who reject that wickedness? Who's given a platform to us? It ain't the people who sign the rappers. They not they not gonna give us a platform. And you gotta ask yourself, why is that? You know what I'm saying? Like People, everybody, everybody, like people who I deal with, this, this is, this is, this is basic level stuff. This ain't even that deep what I'm saying, but of course it's going to be people upset. It's going to be people very upset uh, because it's because for whatever reason, people think that their opinion is the deciding factor and the standard for life. But the most high decides morality. He decides what's right and wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's what I live by. So it's very obvious the paper trail to all the wickedness against quote unquote black people goes back to the very people that had that that got the most equity out of the what they call the transatlantic slave trade and even, you know, the hundreds of years of oppression before that. So is again, I'm really laughing at some of the conversations being had around yay because because y'all not really a lot of people are really shallow when they when they approach these topics y'all not really dealing with everything and stop being fake outrage for Jewish people because they not outraged for you they not outraged for you they don't care about what your life what happened with you they too busy making equity off of your trauma you gotta understand that if you don't understand that you either in a they either in your pockets they control your money and if you if that's the perspective you coming from, you know I'm saying because they really control the whole financial system and that's the perspective you coming from, your voice is invalid. We don't care what you got to say. It don't matter what you're talking about. You know what I mean, <clears throat> and and it's going to always be people like that. Y'all think yay the only one thinking how he thinking like and I ain't saying he th we think the same. You know what I'm saying I'm saying some of them topics he touching on. A lot of us been in that. I mean, call it what you want. Call it being woke. Call it whatever. But everybody not riding with the lies. Everybody not riding with the with the wicked social norms. You know what I'm saying. So I let I let everybody who who you know what I'm saying like they get fake outrage that everything that they see these celebrities we don't know this dude we don't know I don't know yay I don't know this dude his name might not even really be yay his main name might be something else you know what I mean we don't really know these people. But the idea of this person and the ideas that he presents, that's what I'm speaking on. And it's funny, like, on a lesser level, because I, I don't have that kind of celebrity, nor do I want it, you know, just from speaking on certain topics myself among Christians, got them looking at me funny, got them looking at me different, but they can never address real things. They got a gaslight and try to make me look crazy or make me look bad when, you know, they can't validate any of those things. They got to try to use, use like these, these grand gestures to make you seem like you're, like you're a danger to society, which is stereotypical. Like you got to make a black man crazy or dangerous or both or all of the above. 